Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rob Jr. and this is my channel Creative Rob. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to be sharing with you um, the third painting in my series where I'm using palette knives and oil paint and working on a portrait and creating an abstract portrait piece. So to start off, I created a grid on my canvas and this is the same grid that I created in Photoshop. So what I did is I uh, chose a model and I created grid lines and uh, on an 11 by 14 inch canvas in Photoshop and that's the size canvas I'm using and physically painting on. Um, and what I did was every inch I created a line and then around the eyes and nose and mouth I did every half inch. Uh, I, I made the lines a little um, condensed so that um, it could be more accurate. And instead of drawing this out, I just went ahead and started painting. So what I'm doing is looking on my monitor um, and just kind of sketching out with paint what I see. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. The key is um, to, to make sure you're using the same size canvas in Photoshop as you are in reality. And to sketch out the guidelines correctly so that the portions uh, match. Now most people, including myself, um, will sketch this out first, but I decided to cut that out uh, and just directly start painting and it turned out pretty nice. Um, and I'll probably continue to do this. And like I said, this is a third painting of my series and I learned a lot so far and um, this is one of them. Instead of sketching it out with pencil, I decided to just go in and paint. And in this series, I had been starting off with palette knife. Um, but as I continued with this series, what I, discovered is I really liked the contrast between the soft lines and the palette knife. So what I'm doing is aiming for more realistic look and and then going on top of that with the rough palette knife lines and colors. So this one's actually going to start off with kind of a black and white and then I'm going on top with a palette knife and scraping and adding color to it. And again, you know, um, I, I wasn't focused on how accurate uh, this, how accurate I was with the photo. That was just a reference to um, to paint. I'm not trying to do photorealistic stuff. Um, that's, that's not the goal of this series. Although I am, I am trying to get, uh, nice skin tones and, 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 uh, good smoothness so that there is that contrast when I go on top with the palette knife. And, and like I said, I'm not shooting for photorealistic. Um, although I do respect that, uh, but that's just not what I want to do. I've uh, 
been interested here lately with more of the, the fillings um, I get when painting and and transferring that onto the canvas rather than showing how accurate I can make a painting or how photorealistic that's great to sharpen your skills and it's something you should practice but um, at the same time like I said in my earlier videos you need to you need to expand that and um, I get a real joy out of abstract artwork or impressionist artwork um, but when you practice realism um, you your technique gets really good and and like I said earlier it'll give you it'll you will make better choices in your abstract work but that's not what this is series is focused on this this series is focused on uh, more on emotions and you know what can I make you feel or you know I'm setting up a stage and and laying things out so that you feel something other than wow that looks realistic you know that looks like a photo again that's great that we can do that but I'm not trying to do that with with this series I'm like I said I'm focused more on um, fillings and bold strokes and color which I you know this is starting off black and white but I will be putting color on top of this and um, you know it just excites me uh, This, this kind of work excites me. It, it makes me feel good and, and, and I'm having fun. So, anyway, back to the, the painting. Um, as you can see, I kind of started off with the, the shadows and, and went to the mid tones, and now I put in the highlights. And when I get done doing all of that, I will use a, a blending brush to smooth it out. Again, um, I'm, I'm starting off with the brush. The, the I'm not gonna bring the palette knife into this till I have the skin tone the skin tones down. Sorry I can't talk this morning, it's kind of early. Here I'm just blending in. This, this is kind of rough blending. I will actually use a, a blending brush. So I know we're supposed to be doing some social distancing right now with the uh, coronavirus spreading so fast. Uh, if you guys are getting bored in your house um, and haven't tried oil painting, uh, you should give it a shot. You know, if you have the supplies. If not, um, pull out some acrylics. Acrylics are fun; they dry fast. I'm actually using a medium uh, to help this dry faster called liquid and impasto and it also helps uh, with um, giving texture to the paint showing the brush strokes that kind of thing but uh, painting is a great way to express yourself and uh, 
helps with anxiety. You know, if you're having some anxiety over everything that's going on, give, give painting a try. It, it releases a lot of that negative energy and it can help you feel a lot better. Now, as you can see, um, I moved quite fast on this. Not as fast as what you're seeing. I haven't sped up, but um, again, some of the portions are off, and I'm not too worried. You know, one eye is one eye is looking uh, a little different from the other, and the chin slightly off. And uh, I I do work on that a little bit, trying to fix that up. But again, I know I'm going to be covering a lot of this. Um, with the palette knife so I'm not worried about it this isn't a, a realistic portrait this isn't gonna that's not what the it's gonna be focused on although I am trying to get some good gradients in, in that skin tone uh, because I want there to be a, a, a contrast between the smoothness and the roughness of the palette knife and then the black and white of the model and then and then the the color strokes of the palette knife And if you guys are watching this and you do decide to um, give oil painting a try or to jump back in it, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you out. Uh, so what you'll need is some brushes and you'll need some linseed oil or some type of oil as a medium. This will help, um, uh, help with the, the paint texture. Uh, to clean your brushes, you're going to need some odorless paint thinner, is what I'm using. And if you want to dry faster or be thicker, you, you can add some liquid and pasto. I'll have a, a link in the description for that. It's not a hard thing. I know some people get intimidated when it comes to oils. Um, the key is just to jump in and do it. Don't, don't be afraid to mess up. Don't be afraid, afraid to try something new. It's fun. So I'm just adding some shadows here, giving, giving, uh, trying to give, give it a little more contrast. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not too worried about how accurate this is, because a lot of it's going to be covered up. And still, if I was worried about it. I, I wouldn't be worried about it because I know how to fix it, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to be painting over it. And as I'm painting, I'm getting ideas of how, how I'm going to go on top of this with the palette knife. So there. here I'm just scraping what I already have, giving it some texture and There, I mixed up some some black what I already had on the on the table, and uh, I don't want to say I'm randomly just throwing the paint on. I like to I, I'm, I'm making fast decisions, but it, with an artistic mind, some of that I believe comes from the subconscious. Which is why I find these paintings pretty interesting. And then, and then here I'm adding that 
that hot pink and it really just pops and makes the painting painting here I'm trying to add some of that pink into the uh, to the eyes I'm using a scraper tool that that I use when I'm doing pottery to scrape the sides of the ceramics. Just signed in my name, but I didn't like that. <laughs> I've never liked signing my name on my paintings. I, I've always felt like it takes away from it, and if you do sign it, it really has to fit the style of the painting so sometimes it's a tricky thing signing your name could be harder than the actual painting and here I'm just adding some more texture and I don't want any of those guidelines to show through adding some uh, lines with the palette knife here mixing up some blue which I decide I couldn't put anywhere yet yeah, sometimes you have to hold back it's a there's a fine line you have to walk and as you as you paint you'll get better at these kind of choices all right so here I'm mixing up some some blue and I am going over that eye and making a scratch Now this one's quite different than the others. Um, there's a lot less palette knife strokes and so I had to hold back a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun painting it and creating the video. Um, let me know if you liked it in the comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.